Good morning guys. Hope your weekend's going well. Mark Walsh Piper with an early morning waffle. It's just gone 7.42 here in the morning. Just literally finished work, just got in. Made a fresh cup of Earl Grey tea, no sugar. Before I get showered up and go to bed. Again, I'm going to finish this um, tin of Blue Ridge. Thank you, got it. I'm going to light it up. Like the fact, as you can hear, it's been like this all night, absolutely pouring down again. I've put the reducer in this 9mm Liganza pipe. Lovely Savinelli pipe, that's some stunning pipes these are. And uh, I caught a sign, bit of Simon's live last night, but I couldn't, uh, obviously, I couldn't comment on it because I was driving, but I was listening a little bit to what I did here. And what he's asked, he's asked uh, if you know the community out there, the ITPC community, can either do a load of VRs. Well, not VRs, you know, do videos, letting everybody know, as many people as possible, about the auction. So next Saturday night on Simon's LCS Live, like you normally have on a Saturday night, 12 p.m. UK time. Simon's going to have the auctions for the, the goods for Phil Devara, you know, to raise money. But a fantastic guy, you know, at the YTPC. We all know him, we all love him. And it's so he can kit out or fit out. His, uh, his new home, I don't know if it's an RV or a caravan, well, I'm going to call it over there, I don't know. But we all know he's got it. But uh, obviously he still needs some funds to help him fit, fit it out. So let's get it out there, guys. Let's get the information out there, you know. Do VR, do an Instagram message, Facebook, whatever. Uh, as many YouTube videos as we can. So many people as we can get involved. And uh, it's all about raising money. Phil so we can get him uh, sorted and settled down again. It's gonna light this up. I think the, uh, the gas is going in this. You know it's not because you get that big like a jet put comes through doesn't it with the I think the other one's the same. You stand by one. Just so I'll see that. Close to one and now, even though I've got a reducer, still get a bit of tobacco through. Which is what I noticed last night when I was smoking it last night without the filter. I was getting a little bit of a. I can see there's plenty of room for tobacco to get through. And uh, so I put the reducer in this morning. Yet to watch the um, Dave's video from last night, his backyard chat. Bit of, a, bit of a cigar, which I will watch after I've made this video. Really miserable, horrible weather this is for driving, as the people will know, you know. It's no fun driving in, in weather, especially riding on interstates or motorways, we call them over here. Definitely have to uh, take your time, be more, a bit more careful. Have your wits about you, even more so when it's wet. Had a good shift last night. Because on a Saturday you don't really know what you're going to get. <coughs> it's a bit of hit and miss. <coughs> so I've done my, uh, my normal collection. But again, into a different location. Another what new one I've not been to before. So that was an hour's drive, you know, there pick up, wait for the pick up and then uh, 20 minute wait for the pick up and then an hour drive, drive back. So it was like 1 o'clock by the time we got back in the morning. I think it started out at about um, just gone 10 o'clock. Sorry, about half past 10. And um, yeah, I got, a de I got a decent run. I got another hour and a half. Just, well, hour and three quarters run, you know, to 
other side of Birmingham or Birmingham as our American friends call it um, but we call it Birmingham um, there's a talk like that up down there the Brummies from Birmingham anyway guys um, yeah so again wet miserable horrible but what I do like they put some some new cat size in what you call the cat size on the I don't know if you have them in America you know so it's the uh, like markers for the uh, the lane markers on our motorways and in Birmingham what they've done they put in they look like LEDs really bright because some of the motorways are unlit you know no light in the top whatsoever they put in these really bright LEDs looks like <laughs> looks like a landing strip for an aircraft you know but it certainly makes a big difference that's for sure so yeah about time some of the uh, Highways Agency got their act together and, and expanded enough on these roads. And this tobacco might be a little bit damp because I left it in the shed last night, mostly with the wet weather. It was dry, it was a dry night in the house yesterday. It was nice and dry in the house yesterday. Oh, you've got, <laughs> got too many, too many lighters now. Got three lighters here. Let's give this one a go. So I'm just gonna wind down, have a pipe, have a drink. Like I said, no sugar. I've already started put down on my sugar. I was saying about with yesterday's video. I'm gonna start changing my diet and stuff like that. I might next month. I might go on a, a fasting month. I might just get myself some um, vitamin tablets just to make sure all my vitamins are, you know. You get these vitamins, can't you? We can get one for women over 50, men over 50, or whatever it is. So I might get them, make sure all the nutrients I require, you know, are in my system before I go on this fasting period. I think that will because I got what I was really surprised in last night is. How fat my belly's gone, I tell you. And I was sitting in my cab, sorry, in my van last night, and I was squeezing me side, you know, my sides. And I've never I've never been this big, you know, I've never been this fat. You know, I'm gonna say overweight, I'm I'm fat, you know. And what I'll do before I do this uh, fasting, I'm gonna measure my stomach, I'm gonna measure my legs, you know, find out where I'm losing the weight. When you miss the things, I put weight on me legs. Now my legs used to be really chunky legs. I used to have good legs. I used to be proud of me legs. But for some reason, I don't know what it was. I lost loads of weight off my legs the last couple of years, and I haven't done anything change. I don't know whether it's just all the walking, but the old job I used to have with uh, you know doing 15, 20 mile a night. But it's not just weight; it's muscle. And you think with all that walking you'd, uh, you'd gain muscle, but no. Again, that light, that retro oil, that light retro I'm sure it's the Orientals I can taste. You know what I'm saying? You get like a florally sort of flavour, like you get in there. In the Lakeland. Because right, I don't think we've got that many blends. What's got what either Oriental forward or you know. So I'm not really sure what to expect from an Oriental. Even after these years, you know. Three, four years now I've been uh, smoking. Still got a, I still got a hell of a lot to learn. Like I said, I've got to sort out like everyone else. 
working out uh, how to do a scoring thing on your tobaccos and stuff like that. I was watching uh, Bottle Pipers last video last night. Sort of went into it. Not in too much in depth, but a rough idea of how he does his scoring. But I know well, a lot of things don't like coming to it as well. A lot of people don't like a ribbon cut or they don't like a shag cut. So, whether the cut of the tobacco comes into it, whether the tin note comes into it, because some of these tin notes are absolutely vile, aren't they? You know, like how many tin notes you get like um, a ketchup or a sauce, you know, weird smell. I mean, obviously you get a lot of, some are sweet, some of you get the, as you an aromatic, you might get a, uh, you know, a plum smell or a bloody, whatever it is, vanilla, you know, you name it, it's in it, in it, guys. Or non-aromatic, you could be getting a bit junior, you could be smelling the, the Cavendish. That's a key, you'll certainly know whether that's in there. Get that big spicy it don't you lots of here spicy smoky woody so I'm just winding down that's my last one tonight for this week have Monday off and then what I'm gonna what I'm gonna try and do I have a Saturday off it seems to be the quietest day of the week and then uh, eventually have the Saturday and a Sunday off Because the missus says not having just worth having one day off because she said, well, her words. Oh, yeah, was your bed on your day off? So we don't get time to do anything together. So, um, plus she's working days as well, you know. She, she does three or four day shifts a week. And I'm doing night shifts, so it's like passing ships in the night. And I don't sometimes I don't see her in the morning if, I, if I'm up and I'll go and pick it up from work you know when she's finished then it's like a couple of hours and I'm gone again you know so it's just the way it goes you, need, you have to do what you have to do don't you I'm going to stay lit it was staying lit no problem last night like I say it might be just that little bit of damp in the air I'm sure next week the slow mo around his birthday. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'll show the date guys, but I think it's Thursday or Friday. So, I'll do another video, wish him well and wish him all the best and all that. Closer to the, closer to the time. guys I don't know I can sell smoke ring guys I can sell smoke ring Sometimes I find it. I find. I don't know why. If I don't know where. I think it's easy with a cigar, but because the, the smoke is a bit thicker. I don't know. 
saw a lovely I caught a lovely pipe on uh, on Simon's channel last night so I thought I've already done the uh, Cavalier beautiful pipe I would definitely if I was in the market or if I could afford it I would definitely have that myself try and snatch it from your head I know uh, Ed's got his eye on that and he Coming down heavier now, guys. So yeah, listen to that. It'd certainly be a, a pipe I'd be interested in if I could afford it. Well, not just affording it, it's having the funds for it. Snap that up and open the out. It's a beautiful pipe. Phil's done a fantastic job on that. I think uh, Dwight had uh, given a knife. I'm going to shout a little bit, guys. And then got my mic on. Um, Dwight had given a, a knife, sent a knife in, a couple of ash, fantastic ashtrays, that's all I've got the course, so I don't, don't know what else was on it guys, so obviously I think there's some tobaccos and things going on. Look here, it looks like there's got a dirty, oily mark on my face, but it isn't, it's just the way the dark on me, my hair goes on me, on me, on me tash, you know, on me goatee. Just the ginger hair there is a lot darker. Also, you got the, the, the silver, not the grey, the silver. So, I'll just do a quick shout out, guys. And uh, yeah, let's get as many uh, people involved as possible for next week. Next week. Um, I think uh, Sam is going to be posting videos and items on social medias, YouTube and etc of uh, you know of what's available so get your bids in. Um, yeah it's just bad timing for me at the moment. And uh, so let's get as many people uh, you know involved, get some uh, plenty of money raised for Phil so he can get his house up or his, his house organised or his home whatever he wants to call it. Um, yeah, home, home is the right word, isn't it? And because that's what it is, it's, the house is a home, isn't it? Get his home sorted out, get it comfortable for him, and we need to raise as much money as possible. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to bid. As you know, guys, I'm not well off. As I said, I've started this new job. I don't think I've done a month yet, have I? Maybe, may, maybe, maybe just into a month. So uh, let's do what, as much as we can and uh, let's get the word out there guys. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm going to finish this pipe, finish me brew. Cheers by the way. Oh, Earl Grey, lovely first thing in the morning. Mm. Yeah. Bergamot. You get with that lovely, fantastic smell. So uh, I wish you all well. Have a great Sunday. <laughs> Doubt whether we are. So um, I'll just have to get me comfort out my pipes. So I'm not going to get it out the weather. Wish you all well, guys. Be safe. So, as usual, if you're not 100%, you're not under the weather. I hope the uh, big man upstairs blesses you with some uh, relief and puts you back to 100% fitness and whatever. So. And I also want to do a shout out for a couple of people I've not heard for a long time. So that's Miss Kathy and Bear. So hope you guys are well. I haven't seen you for a long time. So just having you to let you know that you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers. Same along with uh, Cliff, Cliff Higgins. I haven't seen him for a long time. And then there's lots of people I haven't seen for a long time, you know. Andrew Sigliniano, Lutheran Piper, I haven't heard of him for a while. Uh, he might be in on a few of the live chats, but I've, I'm not caught him on any. So guys, if you haven't been on him for a while, just, just say hello, you know. Just let us know you're still alive. So take care, all the best. Sweet smokes, everybody. See you on the next one.